Hi, welcome to Tag Arcade. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use AdMob banner ads within Unity 3D. Uh, so in order to do this tutorial, I am going to create three scenes. The first scene is going to be the company logo. The second scene is going to be, be a very simple menu system with exactly one button. And the third scene is going to be the game. Uh, the reason why I'm creating three scenes is so that we can have banner ads going across multiple scenes and you can see how that is created. So let's go ahead and get started with the first scene, the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my main camera, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the skybox, make it a solid color, and I'm going to make it black. Then I'm going to insert my company logo by going to the UI, image, and dropping my uh, logo into it, my logo image into it. Before I can drop my image logo, I have to change this from a texture to a sprite. And after I apply that setting, I could then drop it into my image. I want to definitely center it into my scene, so I'm going to change the rec uh, transform, the x position to zero and the y position to zero. And then I'm going to set it to set native size so that it doesn't look all squish or anything. I'm going to change my viewpoint so that I can see my scene properly. And where is my image? There we go. Look at it backwards. There you go. And that is my first scene. So I'm going to say File, Save Scene As, Logo. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my second scene. So my second scene is just going to have one button. So I'm going to go UI, button. Once again, I'm going to put it into the center of my view. And in it, I am going to change the text to say play. OK. So the one thing I actually forgot to talk about is I loaded the uh, standard asset example project so that we could have a nice scene to work with. So I am going to go ahead and load one of the sample scenes and just to see which sample scene I would sort of want to play with. So I'm going to save this scene and I'm just going to save this as menu. And I'm going to load my aircraft jet to access. So let's go ahead and play it, see how it goes. Okay, so that's the scene I am going to use. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and create the script so that I could switch between scenes. So the first script I'm going to do is going to say wait, then load. And the point of late wait, then load is when the splash logo comes up, or when my company logo comes up, I want to wait. I'm going to show that logo for about a few seconds, and after that, load my next scene. And in order to do that, I'm going to create two variables. So I'm going to say float. Um, actually, I'm going to say public float wait time. And I am going to say public string scene to load. So wait time is going to be how long my scene is going to wait, and scene to load is going to be which scene I'm going to be loading after I wait. In order to do this, I am going to use a script called wait for seconds. And rather than type it myself, I am going to do a search and copy and paste. So I am going to copy this example that starts with I enumerator example and simply paste it underneath start. As you notice, I actually got rid of update because I'm not going to need the update uh, function. Uh, but I am going to say start coroutine. And um, my routine is going to say wait, then load uh, function. 
I had to sort of give it a different name than my actual uh, script name. So that's why I'm going to add the word function at the end. Okay. In order to load a new scene, I got to say using Unity Engine dot scene manager. And I wonder why my autocomplete function doesn't work. So I'm going to close the Unity script a window and reopen it. I'll say yes. OK. And let me just say that. Scene management. OK, see, that's why I need autocomplete working. Uh, let's go ahead and delete the prints because we don't need it. So we're going to, instead of waiting for five seconds, we're going to wait for however many seconds as defined by our variable. And then <clears throat> I'm going to do scene management or scene manager dot load scene. And I'm going to load whatever scene I'm going to tell it to load. Save. The next script I'm going to do is strictly for my menu system. And it's going to tell me how to load a scene. So I'm going to say button load scene. OK, so let's go ahead and load a button load scene. And we're, we're not going to need any of this, so let's go ahead and delete this. Uh, once again, using Unity Engine dot scene management. And we're going to say public uh, load scene string scene to load. And I am going to say scene manager dot load scene and scene to load. Uh, public. Oh, I forgot to give it a return type of void. So that's why there was a red underline there. So now that I got those, let's go ahead and link them up to my scripts. So I'm going to click on my logo. And this is actually where I am going to put the add mob stuff in. So I'm going to create a new thing, uh, a new empty game object. I'm going to call this add mob. And I'm going to load my uh, demo script up to that add mob. I'm also going to create another one. And I'm just going to call this. Uh, script and put my wait then load script on to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait about five seconds and after that I'm going to load my menu. Next I'm going to go into my menu, hit save, and I'm going to once again create a new game object. I'm going to call this script. I'm going to drag in my button load scene script into it and tie my button to that script. So I'm going to add a new function. It's going to be from the script menu. And my function is button load scene, load scene. Load? Um, I completely forgot what I called it. Oh, yeah, load scene mode. Um, weird. I actually just want to call it load scene. Uh, so let's go back in here and call it load. Uh, let's go to my button. Button load scene, load scene. And the scene that I wanted to do was um, this one. Copy it. Go back into my scripts. Paste it. File, save. So let's go ahead and go back to our logo. 
and just make sure everything links up correctly. So here's my scene. Wait about five seconds, and nothing's happening because I get an error message at the bottom. I need to go ahead and link it up to my build settings. So let's go ahead and do menu first, all the way at the top. Okay, come on. There we go. Then my logo, or actually, I got that in reverse order. My logo first, then menu, and then all my other scenes. Uh, so once that happens, let's go ahead and try this again. Play. I get my banner stuff going. After about five seconds, I get to load my menu, hit play, and I get to play my game. Okay. Uh, so if you noticed, um, when we switch between scenes, uh, my script doesn't stay between all the three different scenes. So the first thing we got to do is make sure that the scene sticks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new script and say this is going to be my add controller. And in my add controller, um, what I'm going to say is don't destroy unload. What this means is my script or whatever game object this is attached to will not be destroyed every time I go ahead and load a scene. Um, and I'm just going to say, I actually have to, I get an error miss, I get an error down here that says, um, I have no target, so I'm just going to say this dot game object. So whatever game object I'm attached to, just don't delete it. And the script that I don't want to delete is my add mod script. So taking the add controller, drag it into add mob. So now if I hit play, and let's just make sure that it's there between all the scenes. It is. And do I can I play it? Yeah, I can hit play. And yeah, it's all here. So the last thing, or the second to last thing to do, is now to hide the sort of add mob GUI. So let's go ahead and go to our Google Mobile Ads. And on the on GUI, we're just going to hide it. So slash star, scroll down, star slash, save. So now when you hit play, uh, come on. so yeah, when we hit play, uh, the you don't see the GUI interface anymore. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is use my add controller to trigger um, a request banner. So what I am going to do is I'm going to see if this is a static class. This is not. So I am going to copy this, the Google Mobile Ads demo script, and I need to make a reference to that. I was going to say public, Google Mobile Ad demo script, um, so let's just say ad mob for simplicity. And with it, it's, I'm going to say ad mob dot, and the function that I want to do is to request banner. Right there. So I'm going to copy this, request banner, save. So unfortunately, request banner is inaccessible to do its protection level. So let's go ahead and go to the um, to the script, and let's go ahead and find request banner. Okay, here's request banner. So instead of private void, I'm just going to say public void. So that my other script can access it. And now I'm going to hit play. And this should work. Okay. Um, the one thing I forgot to do is within this add mod script, I need to reference myself. There you go. 
So I just dragged add mob into here just so that you can get to the uh, uh, Google Mobile app demo script. So now I'm just going to go ahead and build this and run it on my device. So you could run it on iOS, Android, or whichever device supports AdMob. So I'm just going to build it for my Android and let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, yeah, since I'm running this as a standard asset example project, I'm going to get this missing project ID. Just hit yes. That's completely fine. I'll call this test.apk. And yeah, let's go ahead and build it and test it out, see how it works. Okay, so I loaded it up to my Android device. Feel free to load it up to like an iPhone or your other device that you have. So I called it example scene. And here's my logo. And if you look at the top, you see my Unity ads uh, is there. And it actually carried over between the two scenes, between my logo scene and the menu scene. Now I've hit play. The ads should carry over from my menu. Come on. From my menu to the game scene. And it is going to be refreshed. Um, oh yeah. So I can go ahead and play this game. Of course. So, as I was saying, uh, yes, this ad will be refreshed at about 30 uh, seconds. So, the way to define how often your ads refresh is actually within the ad mob, uh, the ad mob website. So let's go ahead and go back to the computer. Okay, so within ad mob, so let's go ahead and log into ad mob. Uh, you can go to monetize and go to your Android or iOS, depending on which device you're testing it for, and go into your banner section. And in the banner section is going to you're going to have a section that says refresh rate. And right now, my banners are going to refresh every 30 seconds. Uh, you could play around with it. It could be anywhere from 30 seconds to 120 seconds. Uh, just don't expect this change to happen instantaneously. What that means is after you make a change, so default, the default is 60 seconds. And if you change it to 30 seconds, you may have, you may have to wait about one hour to maybe a day for those changes to take an effect. But don't worry, they will take an effect. And that's how you add the Unity, or sorry, that's how you add AdMob banner ads into your Unity game projects. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, have fun and keep on creating games.